Hi everyone, I hope we're all doing really, really well. Today, I'm gonna be talking about the importance of staying in a high vibration in order to get everything that you want instantly. But before I get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe. On this channel, I talk about all things self-development. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. What is being in a high vibration? Being in a high vibration is when you're at your highest, most positive, happiest self. It's a state where your energy is so high and you are in the highest frequency possible. Just imagine the last time you experienced something incredible in your life. How did it make you feel? You had a rush of happiness, adrenaline maybe. You felt like you were at an all time high. Summer 2016. <laughs> Listening to Megan Thee Stallion's new song. Getting a text from your crush. Going out with your friends and having the best meal ever. Having that constant feeling literally as much as humanely possible. Now, don't get it twisted. We all experience contrast. We all experience negative emotions, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So being in a high vibe, which is also commonly referred to as being in the vortex or being in alignment, is a state where all of your desires seemingly just fall into your lap so easily and even though you are putting in the action or maybe you're not it doesn't matter it feels like you're not even putting in the action you are guided you're always in the right place in the right time and every single thing that you've ever dreamed of in the past and the present and the future and things that you didn't even think that you wanted but got all just fall into your lap because you are in this high vibrational state. It is a state where we can manifest all of our desires with such ease and grace that unless you've experienced this, I can't put it into words. Think Anna Paul's TikToks. Every single time she does a TikTok, every single thing just seemingly falls into her lap. And this is not about being rich because there are so many rich people that make TikToks, they experience negative experiences. I'm talking about the fact that she only sees the positive or she is trying to see the positive in things and people and People meet her at that expectation. Situations and circumstances meet her at that expectation. She is enjoying life so much that life in the universe can't help but to bring more of that to her. If you've never watched Anna Paul's TikToks, I highly recommend you watch at least one. This is gonna be my homework for y'all today. But I really doubt you have never watched an Anna Paul TikTok because She's an icon. Now, why is it important to be in this high vibration? As I've previously mentioned, when we are in this space, when we are in this high vibration, every single desire seemingly falls into our lap. We attract that thing. We're not forcing it. We have more positivity, more abundance in our life, more experiences, more opportunities, funner, things that come into our life. Everything is easy, nothing is cumbersome and hard. This can be manifested in a number of ways from having the perfect relationship with your partner to an abundance of wealth coming your way to improved health. When we're in alignment, all of our beliefs, thoughts and actions fall into alignment to our highest, truest versions of ourselves and in turn we feel a great sense of peace and contentment and feeling as though we are in control of our realities but it's a win-win situation because why were we placed on this planet to enjoy life to be happy to be high vibe because in turn that's going to inspire other people to do the same thing for themselves ultimately influencing and making the world a better place. We don't make the world a better place by focusing on the bad. We make the world a better place by focusing on the good and inspiring others to focus on the good. On the other hand, if we are only looking at the negative things in our lives or in this outer world, we attract more of that into our lives. Focusing on the negative, 
thinking about the negative, talking about the negative, is only going to perpetuate more negativity in your life. I know a lot of people get super confused about this terminology and they have this limiting belief that changing your thoughts can be hard or going into a positive mentality or vibration, being high vibe is hard, but it's really not. We're not forcing to change our negative thoughts and beliefs. We're simply choosing to focus on what makes us happy in this moment. Not something that we're forcing to make ourselves feel good, like, oh, I have a family. I'm so happy that I have a family. Yeah, in the grander scheme of things, but right now my mood isn't really making me feel like I'm grateful for my family. Like, no beef with my family, but like right now, I'm grateful for other things where I actually have like this strong, emotion. We want to concentrate on strong emotions to heighten our vibration, right? So it doesn't matter how crappy we feel. We don't want to put that limiting belief on ourselves, that false premise that we can't get out of this negative state because, you know, we're always thinking negatively. If you are in this negative state, what I want you to do is accept where you are. We're not fighting our negativity. We are not resisting it. What resists? persist. So we are happy right now with where we are or we're not happy. Just accept where you are right now. It is okay. And at the same time, we are adding on to that. What makes us feel happy? Your for you page on TikTok, watching YouTube, watching movies, going out with your friends. See, it's not about what your favorite YouTuber or TikTok or influencer or whatever tells you to do, right? It's not about meditating or writing a gratitude list or doing things that seem like are going to help you. It's about things that make you feel good right now. It used to be the gym for me last year. Then I felt a little bit burnt out by it. So I quit going to the gym because that's what made me feel happy in the moment. I could feel happy doing something two minutes ago and then two minutes later, if I don't feel like I want to do that thing anymore, I'm not going to do it. Does that make sense? So how can we get into this high vibrational state? Well, I already told you that it is super important for you to listen to your internal guidance system and let yourself feel into what it is that makes you happy. No one can tell you what is going to make you happy. Sit in a quiet room and really go deep down inside and listen to what it is that you're feeling, not thinking, but feeling. Is sleeping gonna make me feel better? Is texting my friend gonna make me feel better? Go by that easing feeling. Start experimenting with this. Start thinking about something. Watering my plant, how does that make me feel? Not excited. Going to work, how does that make me feel? Not excited. Buying something for my house, to make it look a little bit nicer. That makes me feel excited. Oh, I don't have enough money to buy something for my house. We're ignoring that, okay, that's cool. That is creating resistance. So we always want to concentrate on what it is that isn't giving us resistance, that's actually making us genuinely feeling like we're thriving. Something that didn't make sense was me going onto Tumblr. The thing is with Instagram is it's so personalized and you know the people, right? Like you follow specific influencers, like you don't know, know them, but you still are catching up with their lives. Whereas Tumblr is more unpersonal. Like that photo could have been from like five years, but it still looks aesthetically pleasing and I don't know who it is. So I can't really be triggered if that makes sense. And I'm detached from that person, right? So that helps me be more inspired and just having visually pleasing photos that I see on a daily basis. I'm a Libra. That hypes me up so much. That makes me so happy. So I'm going to keep on doing that, even though it makes no sense, even though it might look like it's a waste of time to other people but we have to be constantly intentional about this and always chasing that feeling chasing that happiness inspiration whatever if I look at someone on my feed and they don't make me happy no matter if they're someone that I know from work or a random influencer I'm either gonna mute that person or I'm gonna unfollow them I'm also gonna be listing a couple of things that have really helped me and have helped countless amounts of people so if you haven't tried this 
or you have but it hasn't worked i encourage you to try this again because it genuinely does work so the number one thing is and you're probably gonna say it with me together practicing gratitude <laughs> when we focus on the things that we're truly grateful for we start attracting more positivity into our lives right now i'm grateful for how I look. I'm grateful for how my makeup turned out, how my hair turned out. I mean, I just washed it, but you know how my nails look. I'm really grateful for how I decorated my apartment. I was burning this candle and it literally says, look at you getting your own apartment and shit. And while it's been a year since I had my own apartment in the West Village, which I'm so super grateful for, like, I am still grateful for that. It's been a whole ass year, but I was just looking at that candle and I was looking at my view and just this huge amount of gratitude just overflowed. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about practicing gratitude. Really tune into yourself and feel what you're grateful for right now. Why? How does it make you feel? Sit in it, stew in it for a little bit and you're going to come out so freaking happy after doing that. Another way is to surround yourself with positive people and environments that uplifts us. An example is hanging around in nature or hanging out with your sister that means the world to you or someone that you're inspired by or asking questions to your mentor or hanging out with literally Oprah Winfrey by listening to her podcast. This can mean listening to uplifting music, Megan Thee Stallion, Lizzo, Nicki Minaj, or just doing activities that make us feel good. Is it hiking? Is it yoga? Is it going on your FYP on TikTok? Like I am not one of them. I am not one of them who's gonna be like, Oh my God, okay. So in order to feel good, you're gonna want to go hiking and then you're gonna want to order a green smoothie and then meditate for 15 minutes. And then we're gonna, you know, write a gratitude list and then we're going to quit smoking and drinking and we're gonna become vegan. No, bitch, it's literally what makes you happy and it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. Preface, use your common sense. Obviously, don't get herpes. Use your common sense. Common sense is not so common these days, but I just need to preface with that. Even if it doesn't look like the best, most high vibrational activity on the surface of this planet. Oh my God, I have a spiritual being having a human experience. No, we are keeping it real. I wanna order Chipotle because that is exciting me right now. That is something that I want to eat. That's heightening my vibration. I wanna have a shot of 818 tequila cause I just got it and I'm super excited to try it. I want to go really hard at work or take it easy at work depending on how I'm feeling. Cause you know, going hard at work, time goes by quicker. It's a little bit of a game. It's a little bit fun. Or if I'm burnt out, taking it easy, listening to podcasts, listening to music, getting a coffee, talking to your favorite people at work, whatever. It just depends on how you feel in this present current moment in time. That's literally all it is. Do not listen to these spiritual YouTubers, influencers, whatever. Okay, it helps. That's why I'm giving you my list. It genuinely does help when people say, you know, make a gratitude list, blah, blah, blah. But I would try to do these things and I would feel 10 times shitter because I wasn't in that place right now. You could be in that place maybe in a couple of months or in a week or in a couple of days or tomorrow or in five minutes or whatever. But if you're not feeling it right now, if it's something that's not exciting you right now and your inner being knows, your inner being, your subconscious is not stupid. If it's instantly not giving you that gratification, that happiness, that inspiration, it's not for you right now. Keep it pushing. I can literally not explain in words how you feel when you find that thing that you love to do that makes you happy, that rush of inspiration coming to you. You know what I mean? Like I can only tell you go back in time and remember that Christmas day with your family you know, spending time with your favorite people or seeing that Broadway show and being completely enthralled and inspired, seeing a runway show, seeing a quote on Instagram, seeing this incredible TikTok that literally makes you want to run a mile. Like, 
It's not about the what, it's about how it makes you feel that we're chasing. Once we identify these things, and the thing is that we're always learning, growing and expanding, so they may change on a minute to minute basis, moment to moment basis. But as long as we identify that thing, we can milk it and expand it into our lives and we make it a priority. And as soon as we make that a priority in our lives, we will become very high vibrational people and the funny thing is is that you will get to a point if you do this correctly it will be 30 minutes and you won't have to do any techniques your subconscious is going to bring it out in you naturally because you are following your happiness you are already in that mode of I have everything that I want. Another way of getting into the vortex is by meditating and visualizing or using a technique. But this is only if it excites you. Listen, if I don't want to meditate, I'm not going to meditate. I have better things to make use in my life or in that moment of the day. What's more important is how you feel in that present moment. If just the thought of meditating exhausts me. Speaking about exhaustion, let me get my coffee real quick. Oh my goodness. This is the thing. This was when I had my spiritual awakening in 2019. I just had inspired action to meditate. Inspired action, meaning I was inspired to do something and it made me feel excited to do it, right? It just felt like the next natural step. I meditated. The snowball started and I could see the effects of meditation in my life. So many incredible things happened in 2019 because I meditated and I cleared my channel, I cleared my mind and I was able to receive info information and intuitive knowledge from my higher self, from God. I was like taking action and I could see the effects of that and it just cleared my mind for the rest of the day and helped me stay in the present moment. So yes, of course, I'm gonna keep on meditating. That's what's making me happy. For example, I don't know why, like I get intuitive hits like 10 times during a meditation. It's amazing in Australia. I'll tell you the tea about living in New York and med my relationship with meditation now. But let me finish this. So I have intuitive hits all the time, but for some reason, this is the one thing that I always remember that has really helped me. Like I just had an intuitive hit to contact this specific person where it made no sense to contact her. And this was literally two weeks before COVID hit, right? And this loud ass voice was like, contact this girl right contact this girl contact this girl and plan to do a hike with her from bondi to bronte because she lived in bondi beach and i lived close to like bronte and we would meet in the middle i had only met her at the christmas party and i knew that she lived at bondi beach but i met multiple like i met so many people at the christmas party this is like years ago and I was like sort of still kind of new at Daily Mail. Anyways, it really felt like a gut punch, but in like the nicest way possible. It was just literally an intuitive hit. So I contacted her. We started hiking. Like it started like once a week and then twice a week and then three times a week. And we would just literally go hiking three times a week, talk. We got super, super close. COVID hit, you know, and one of the big highlights of COVID was those walks with that girl. Shout outs to her. She helped me so much with seeing this guy that I was seeing at the time. Like she introduced me to all of her Bondi friends and I had someone to talk to during that period in the nicest possible freaking environment. Like she loved hiking more than me. She would go on runs. She was like, swimming at 5 a.m. in the morning. She was like the most active person, like the epitome of like an Australian Bondi girl, right? And I don't know why I bring that as an example. It's the one that really sticks out to me because she really did make my COVID experience so much fun. And it was all because I meditated. I did not know this girl. I don't know why I reached out to her, but it was literally just like someone hit me. I contacted her and the rest is history. I didn't even fathom how it would make sense later on. It helped me more than anything that I could have planned for. You know what I mean? So yes, meditation is one of the most helpful, best things things ever but the thing is that with me and meditation now ever since I moved to New York I don't know 
because this energy is just so dense and compact and everyone's just out and it's just like really like hustle go-getter energy anytime that i try to meditate in manhattan like my channels are closed and i start thinking about work or i start thinking about someone or this embarrassing situation and i can't seem to clear my mind and i try but that's again creating resistance so i'm not going to meditate even today after having a shower i was planning on meditating right and i just didn't feel like doing it so i was like okay i'm gonna film this youtube video instead does that make sense so try all the things that on paper sound good to do but if you're not feeling it in that current moment don't force yourself because that's just gonna make it worse i can't believe i've been talking for 33 minutes this is literally what being in the flow is because 30 minutes has felt like six minutes for me. I don't know why six minutes specifically, but it has really felt super, super quick for me. It's also important to know that being in a high vibration doesn't mean that we are ignoring our negative emotions. It simply means that we are accepting everything that we feel right now. Let it be there. You can be a guest right now, but you know what? I'm focusing on things that make me happy. I'm not trying to subdue or ignore or make irrelevant of this negative thought. You can stay here. That's cool. I can feel this way. I can think this way. But additionally, I'm gonna go take a hike. I'm gonna order this burger. I'm gonna listen to I Spice. I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'm gonna text my boyfriend. I'm gonna hang out with my best friend. I'm gonna FaceTime my mom. I'm gonna kill it at work. I'm gonna make this YouTube video. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. Whatever it is, just listing out the things that make me happy. When we do that, that negative thought, that negative feeling is just going to subside by itself. It's just gonna go away by itself and you don't have to do anything. You are just going on this ride. You are just living your happiest life. That is literally what we were born to do to experience this life in the best way that we can in every single moment. That is the reason why we were born. And in doing that, we make the world a better place because we are inspiring other people to follow their happiness. Because we can never force anyone to do anything. We are inspiring, we are helping them when they ask for help, but we cannot help others if we don't help ourselves first. We can't give money if we don't have the money ourselves. So we cannot give love if we don't have the love ourselves. We cannot give food if we don't have the food ourselves. It just doesn't make sense. How am I gonna give you this piece of bread if I don't have bread to give? What, am I gonna pull it out of my ass? I don't think so. <laughs> so in conclusion, being in a high vibrational state is literally the ticket to getting everything that you've ever wanted and you don't even have to work for it. All you have to do is be a pretty passenger princess and do everything and anything that makes you happy in this moment, milk it, prioritize it, and watch every single tiny and big thing that you have ever wanted on this planet. Come onto your doorstep quietly and just say, I'm all yours. I'm all yours. So I hope that this video gave you some guidance. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.